Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Tonight in his State of the Union, Joe Biden must answer for his failed leadership, whether it's the border crisis continuing to rage at our southern border, crushing inflation and over $30 trillion in national debt, or a balloon from communist China entering into the United States sovereign airspace, Joe Biden has caused a crisis in America. This is why Americans spoke clearly in November. Our families cannot afford Joe Biden's failed far-left Democrat policies. In the new House Republican majority, we have already hit the ground running, working on behalf of the American people to provide critical checks and oversight on the Biden administration and deliver on our legislative agenda, the commitment to America, an economy that's strong, a nation that's safe, a future that's built on freedom, and a government that's accountable. In just the first few weeks, we have reopened the People's House, defended America's energy security, protected the sanctity of life, defunded Joe Biden's IRS army, ended Joe Biden's COVID-19 power grab, and established select committees to address the Chinese Communist Party's malign influence and the weaponization of the federal government. As Joe Biden makes our nation less safe with his failed far-left policies, I am honored to highlight the important work of our upstate New York law enforcement by inviting Montgomery County Sheriff Jeff Smith as my State of the Union guest this evening. House Republicans will continue to hold Joe Biden accountable and deliver on our promises to the American people. And as we've been doing every week, we are highlighting our newly elected freshman members. And that freshman member today is Monica De La Cruz from Texas's 15th District. <laughs> 